It is one of the most eagerly awaited days on the footballing calendar. News is in. The teams themselves will be with us shortly. The atmosphere predictably wonderful. The line doesn't back it up, but the tries are shot! They've scored! And the second half is off to a flyer! That looks like a preconceived plan. It is one of the most eagerly awaited days on the footballing calendar. It's the day when teams turn up for work with a spring in their step. First time in this competition this season, a genuine sense of occasion, a bit of fanfare that goes with it. The mood is upbeat, laced with a dose of nerves, which must be expected. The team news is in, the teams themselves will be with us shortly. The atmosphere predictably wonderful. Stadio Olimpico, a venue that has an old-school feel about it. Everybody standing for the national anthem of Italy. Was impressive match that Strong start, essential for both teams here as they look to head towards the knockout stage. Well, Peter, I can tell you that both managers will have stressed the need for a very strong start here. Both have also indicated a, a front foot approach. If that is the case, then I don't think we're going to be complaining at the end. I certainly hope we'll be eulogising. There's an awful lot resting on this and we'll probably end up reflecting on that. Away. So, Jim, tell me this, who are you looking for in particular here? Well, Nicolo Barella is, by all accounts, a jack-of-all-trades, and I think that's a very good way of describing how this player operates, because he's growing into one of Italy's most important midfielders, and he always has a say. And the shot! It's off target and by quite a way. Oh, I'm not sure what he had in mind, and I don't think he knew either.
Kutsu for Chalhanolu. Excellent challenge there, uncompromising. Bastoni, Biragi, Immobile. He's found the way through, and the shot! And that's caused the worry or two. That's a little unfortunate. He had a lot of people worried then. Demiral. But it has been just one side doing all of the early probing. Well, they've made all the inroads and their confidence is taking on a growth spurt. He's looking for the runner here. And there's massive lead! He's still to get his head on that, but couldn't score. Well, it really shouldn't be allowed to happen again. It needs to be dealt with at source. Serbi. Biragi. Gets his pass away. Yilmaz. Still goalless at the moment. Demiral. And it's Chalhanolu. Under is onto it in a flash. Clearly not happy with that. Dorsun. Under. Well, that tackle was certainly sturdy. And that's clear cut. It's a free kick. A Serbi has been booked just to confirm for that earlier incident. Oh, that was one big no no when you've got a queue formed in the box. Di Lorenzo to Cristante out to the right the fullback is in acres of space here he's left his man and he's there to clear it Under So there's been a call to arms here for those six foot plenties to head towards the penalty area. Yeah, they've got plenty targets awaiting, so they'll be looking to get on the end of anything that gets played into the box. And it's Berardi. Uh, that's been intercepted. Yasichi. Oh, nicely intercepted. away Bastoni for Woodson with intent challenged just a bit on the firm side Tokers good spot he's seen the run well time excellent interception a Serbi spots it and intercepts. Kutlu. Spread out to the left. Now, there's no getting past him. It's really well defended. Oh, it's a promising build up. There's plenty of really nice passing. That'll be the last act of the first half. But it has been a half largely of could outs and should haves. Perhaps the more impatient amongst the supporters will feel their over to a goal. But it's certainly not for the want of trying, so nothing to show as yet. At the break, it's nil-nil. So they head in, no further forward. The score here, still nil-nil. And we're already back on the way here. 
Italy can feel really happy with themselves. The scoreline doesn't back it up, but they tries a shot. They've scored, and the second half is off to a flyer. That looks like a preconceived plan: win the ball and then unleash. Italy draw first blood here. Listen, when it comes to goals, Peter, in this team, he's always the number one contender, and he's done it again. Sorry. De Lorenzo. And it's Berardi. Kutsu to Chalhanolu. Kutsu Barella. Danger averted for now. And it's been taken straight back. It's run loose here. Now it's Unal. Italy are clearly enjoying a very good spell. The flow of momentum is bang in their favour. And here's Immobile. Played out towards the right wing. There's no flag. Good take by the keeper, he's read that well. Ops for safety. Tokush. Turkey looking to pass their way through. Celik. Oh, he's felt that, hasn't he? Oh, that's a foul, and the whistle's gone. Just the talking to, I think. Yes, it is. what has to be done now no question about it this is a really front-footed approach well the question now is whether they can sustain it has a shot they've played it short Barella now it's Unal. Turkey can counter promptly here. Keen. Oh, that's a fine interception. So the team separated just by the one goal, which came early in the second period. And the score is 1 0. Yilmaz. And that has left him in a heap. And he certainly caught him there, it's a free kick. And no surprise, that's a booking. Under. Well, there's plenty to like about this approach. Get your head down, keep battling away, and eventually things might change for you. Keen. Now it's Keen. 
There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but will they? Now it's Unal. Under. I think we're about to see a frenetic finish. Uh, no half measures from here. Looking for the runner. Now it's Keane. Yeah, it's safe to say that they just need to manage this to secure the win now. Yilmaz. Whistle's gone, that's uh, foul. The referee has resisted the temptation to go to his pocket. It's just a stern lecture. Time added on will be two minutes. And the pass is intercepted. Italy. And there goes the final whistle.